That's right, and one injured with burns taken to the hospital. There is concern that this fire could go more than quadrupling in size. It is at 2,400 acres right now with only 5% containment. Joining me now live, Captain Richard Cordova with Cal Fire Riverside. You were talking to me about the wind and this explosive fire behavior. The estimate on the winds that were blowing yesterday when this fire started, it sort of ex helps explain how it grew so quickly. Yeah, I was witnessing uh, gusts in this area between 50 to 60 miles an hour um, uh, yesterday, which is very uncommon uh, for this time of year. Um, there were Santa Ana winds. Uh, they were blowing extremely uh, strong. And actually, when I got the, the dispatch call and uh, went outside, uh, there was already, already a huge column of smoke blowing. Talk to me about, because a lot of folks obviously out of their homes this morning, they want information. They want to know what to expect. I know you are very concerned about what's going to happen this afternoon. Right. Yeah, I'm very concerned because we're actually going to get a wind change uh, this afternoon that's going to be very strong. That's going to come from down canyon, up canyon, and blow the opposite direction. And um, my main concern is, is the residents. What I've seen in the last 10 years with this, this drought that we've been dealing with, fires have been explosive. And if they think they're safe in some of these neighborhoods, uh, they're kind of mistaken. We've seen um, major neighborhoods burn down in the last several years uh, due to this uh, strict uh, drought that we've been going through. And we know that we've lost, sadly, two people who appear to have been in the process, possibly, of evacuating. I know it's too soon to tell because a lot of hot spots, investigators haven't been able to get into that area yet, but two people died. Correct. Unfortunately, we had uh, two fatalities, uh, one um, burn injury to a civilian also that's been was treated here and transported. Um, and our understanding, they were trying to flee the area. Unfortunately, the area where they got burned at, uh, it's a one-way in, one-way out road. Uh, so it's it's very difficult to uh, for people to escape in that situation. And you're talking about Avery Canyon, correct? Correct, yeah, down Avery Canyon. What neighborhoods need to be on high alert today? Do you have a list, or can you tell us some of them? So uh, obviously in the Avery Canyon area, there's still lots of hot spots that are in that uh, area, home selling area, but also the... Um, the south of Hemet, uh, the foothills in that area. There's lots of homes in that area. Um, they need to be concerned if we have any type of wind change and we see extreme weather conditions like we saw yesterday, uh, that uh, fire could creep over the hill and come Dan Canyon on them. All right, Captain Richard Cordova, thank you very much. Cal Fire Riverside, one of the many hundreds of firefighters out here. Additional resources are coming into the area. And you'll want to stay tuned to Good Day LA and, of course, Fox 11 for any new evacuation orders. Reporting live in Hemet, I'm Gigi Gracia. Back to you. All right, Gigi, thank you.